For the first time in this series, the Alabama State Hornet football team will be traveling west of the Mississippi River. This is a place we've never been to before and an opponent that we've never faced before, even in real life. Now, in case you're not up on real life current events, the Alabama State Hornets will be playing the UCLA Bruins in 2022. Today, our season starts. Season four, that is. And we'll take it on the 17th ranked Cal Bears, who are just coming off a heartbreaking loss against the Michigan State Spartans. So as you see the lineup for the Cal Bears, they have an impact player at wide receiver by the name of Quincy Lambert, but be on the lookout for Sullivan. They also have this impact player at left linebacker EJ Wright. So now we start the 2008 season. Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. This is a great day for football, and we're anxious to get this game underway between the Alabama State Hornets and the Golden Bears of California. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Golden Bears. The Hornets don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. California is going to be all over the quarterback in this one, Coach. Having one of the most gifted athletes at defensive end makes this defense that much better. He'll help his defense force some turnovers and get the win. Okay, you ready for my pick? Now we win this game. Mark it down on your calendar. We're going against the grain. It's us versus the world. And season four is underway in Berkeley, California. There goes the true freshman, the wide receiver Sullivan, taking the ball at the right side. And on the opening kickoff of the season, the Cal Bears strike first blood. It's seven nothing early, but that's okay because the Dope Walker Award winner is back. The Maxwell Award winner is back. The best running back in the country is back. The man all the way from VA, Justin Chambers, and we're going to need him throughout these first four games of the season. First four games at Cal. Then we go to Iowa. Then we go to Prairie View. And then we go to the Horseshoe up in Columbus, Ohio. So we really need Justin Chambers to be on top of his game. And look at Jason White making a great catch up the middle. We're expecting a lot of things from Jason White this season. There goes Chambers taking the ball, but he gets nowhere. On second and 13, there goes Newton stepping back to pass. With all day, he throws in a double coverage, and that's incomplete. So here goes Newton again. This time, he's getting sacked in the backfield, and oh, no. He has an injury to his chest, and he's out for the rest of the game. So we settle for the three points, and Anman flops it all the way to the left. The kick is no good. It's still 7-0. First and 10, though. There goes power. Our defense, can they step up? Their first time on the field. Second and 10. Toss play. No. It's a halfback pass, and he's, it's complete downfield to Sullivan. Sullivan's already making his presence known early. Powers. Here he goes again. That pass is thrown out of bounds. Second and 10 at the 48. This time, Powers is finding Sullivan on the other side, and he converts it. First and 10 for the Golden Bears. Oh, no, that was on 30 inches. And look at the fullback breaking tackles and getting to the 25-yard line. Our defense, we got to get a stop. We catch a break right there, though. That pass was too strong for Powers. So here goes Powers again. No, that's a draw play. Look at Fowler. The juke moves. They got some nasty running backs at Cal, man. They had Marshawn Lynch. He just got drafted number one overall by the Cleveland Browns. And look at Colin Robinson. His first sack of the season. And his first sack of his collegiate career. So they settle for the three points. The kick is up and they missed it. And the mascot can't believe it. So Bobby Newton is out for the rest of this game. So here comes Peter Burnett. Our red shirt freshman quarterback from Kendall, Florida. We're putting him in the mix early. But he has Justin Chambers behind him taking the handoff. Going up the left side and runs out of bounds. We got to get Burnett comfortable early. This time we're going to let him sling the rock. And look at him making that catch to the Georgia Bulldog transfer, Marcus Williams. Here goes Burnett again. Looking for Williams again. He makes the catch downfield. Did he catch that? They gave it to him. He caught the ball. Let's slow this down. Did he actually catch that? Did he actually catch that? 
barely caught that. He got a foot in bounds. We're at the 25-yard line. Burnett still slinging it. Screen pass to the Speedy Jean Singleton. His first touch of the game. Speedy Jean Singleton, the LSU transfer. Then the halfback direct to the man all the way from VA, and he fumbles it out of bounds. Thank goodness. At the 13, the hand up the chambers again. This time he gets little yardage, but he gets full progress. Burnett stepping back. Nobody open, and he takes a sack. Burnett showing his inexperience as the first quarter comes to an end is still 7-0. So Burnett in the gun. He's looking for Marcus Williams and he didn't even make an attempt to make the catch on the ball. Unbelievable. So we set up for three points again. The kick is up and it just tips to the right. It's no good. It's still 7-0. Cal Bears with momentum and then look at that. Another transfer. That's Jesse Moore. The Mississippi State Bulldog transfer, getting the sack on Powers, and the ball just flew in the air. My goodness. How did we not recover that? Second and 13. The counter trap, the Fowler. That's going nowhere. There goes Lawrence Martin, our new impact player, coming in on the tackle. Third and long. Powers with all the pass. He's looking deep, and that's incomplete. The defense stands tall. Offense is back on the field. We're still looking for our first points of the season. There goes Chambers up the right side. First and 10. Here goes Chambers again. Look at the stiff form. Oh, he's going in Goku Super Saiyan mode. Up the right side, and then he got blasted by Fitzhugh. Burnett with the play action fake. And then he's looking deep for Kevin Scott. Baby Randy Moss makes the catch. What a beautiful pass by Peter Burnett. The red shirt freshman is showing no fear in his first set of action in college football. First and goal for Justin Chambers. He ran into a wall full of blue and gold. Second and goal. Back to Chambers. He takes it to the outside. He makes a man miss and he crosses the plane. Touchdown Alabama State. It's just right for Justin Chambers to get the first touchdown of the season. We tie the game at seven. And then look at the fullback Lawrence. Going up the gut once again at the 45. There goes Cal. Play action pass. It was a screen pass hit a tight end and he dropped it. Second and 10 at the 45. Powers is making changes at the line of scrimmage. That's the snap and that pass is just too strong for their impact wide receiver Lambert. Third and 10. Powers with all that a pass. He's looking downfield and that's deflected away by Justin Scott. He's a senior and he's already making some plays in the secondary. We got the ball back. We're going with the screen pass to baby Randy Moss, Kevin Scott. He got a gain of six. Second and four. Burnett once again looking for Marcus Williams. The Georgia Bulldog transfer makes a big impact play. Burnett rolls out to the left. He finds Tim Brown up the middle. What a catch. What a play call. Beautiful pass by Peter Burnett. He already showed he got a better arm than Bobby Newton. Look at that pass. Oh my gosh, Jason White got blasted. Jason White got destroyed on that pass, but he held on to the ball. We're back in the red zone. There goes the half back direct to the man all the way from VA. He gets past the 10, and he's tackled at the two yard line. We gotta get into the end zone. Can we give Gene Singleton a chance to get his first touchdown as a Hornet? No. Back to Chambers we go. He gets in for the second time today. Touchdown Alabama State. We take the lead and now our defense is back on the field. There goes the play action. Look at Lois Morton, our new impact player. Mike Considine went down though. Don't worry, he'll be back. Second and 15. The, the hand off the Fowler. Look at him, look at that, look at that. Just amazing, man. Cal got some nice running backs, dog. They got Marshawn Lynch. He just got drafted number one overall by the Cleveland Browns. I know I'm repeating myself, but they also have Justin Forsett. Look at that sack, though, by Colin Robinson. Look at that sack. Another sack for Colin Robinson up to the nickelback spot. We go into the halftime break. It's 14 to 7. Alabama State's up. We get the ball second half, and then goes to LSU transfer. Gene Speedy Singleton up the right side, first and 10. We're going to give it to him again. This time he gets nowhere, at least two yards, I believe. Nope, that was one. So there goes Burnett rolling out to the left, and he finds Marcus Williams again. They're forming some chemistry early in the season. This time Burnett's rolling out. He's looking for Cameron Scott, but that pass was just too strong. 
So we got second and ten. And then the man all the way from VA gets tackled in the backfield. So now we got third and long. Burnett stepping back the pass and he gets sacked again. Fish Hugh having a big day. So Cal got the ball back. It's second and long. And there goes Kevin Scott once again making a play on the ball. Third and seven. Powers. This time with all there to pass. He pops it. He finds Lambert in the flat. And he gets tackled just inside the 20. We got to get Chambers going. And there he goes again up the left side. Turns the corner. Gets pushed out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Great run by Chambers. Burnett stepping back to pass. He's had a great day. And then there goes Marcus Williams, who's also having a great day. He hasn't dropped the pass yet this year. And then, oh, look at this. Look at this. I pressed the wrong button. It was supposed to be a screen pass. But I pressed the wrong button. We throw a pick. Cal gets the ball back. And then there goes Jesse Moore with his second sack of the day. The Mississippi State transfer. Powers. This time he finds the flat. But it's not there. Great defense by the Hornets. 30 15. Powers has all day to pass. He pops it. It's intercepted. Justin Scott. The Juco transfer. He goes back for a pick six. Touchdown Alabama State. Touchdown Alabama State. Justin Scott, the Juco transfer. He's a senior now. He puts the Hornets up for 21 to 7. The Hornets secondary sitting back in the cover three. And Justin Scott picks it off. Goes back the other way. And now we're up 21 to 7. Cows down 14. And now they have the pass. And they're looking for Haley. He makes the catch. And they're in Hornet territory. First and 10 at the 49. Powers takes the snap and then the hand up the Fowler going up the gut and then he's short of the first down marker but just by one yard. So they give it to him on the toss play and look at Cal Gray. What a play by Cal Gray getting the tackle for loss 32. And now Lawrence Morton gets into the backfield for his second sack of the game. That's five sacks on this quarterback now. We go into the fourth quarter. We're up 21 14. Our defense is doing a damn thing. And now we're back on offense. And the man all the way from VA gets the handoff. We're looking for Kevin Scott on the screen pass. He takes it outside to the left. He breaks a tackle. He gets taken down near the 35 yard line. Great play there after the catch by Kevin Scott. Then then Burnett gets sacked. And look who it is. It's Fitz Hugh. Nope, I believe that was EJ Wright, their impact linebacker. So then we go back to the half back the red. And the man all the way from VA tried to make a man miss, but he couldn't. So we got third and long. Burnett with all day to pass. He's looking up the middle and that's dropped. Jason White. So we feeling ourselves. We're going forward on fourth and long. We're going to find White up the middle again. He makes the catch and then he fumbles it. He got blasted and then he fumbled the ball. I guess it was just a matter of time, huh? Oh, Jason White. So there goes Powers. He felt the pressure right there. That's incomplete. Second and 10 at the 31. Powers once again a quick pass to Lambert. He makes the catch his third and manager. So on third and two. Powers looking for Sullivan. The true freshman makes the catch. The true freshman gets away from the secondary. And the true freshman is gone. Touchdown, Cal. Wow. It's 21 to 14. They got momentum, but we got Gene Singleton, one of the fastest players in the nation. The LSU transfer. We're going to give him some time here. We got Cal Gray making a special guest star appearance at quarterback. And then he takes the option play and takes it to the outside. First and 10. Chambers is back in the game and he gets a gain of three. So second and seven. Screen pass this time to Marcus Williams and he goes nowhere. He almost has 100 yards receiving. 37. Chambers. Automatic. First down. That gets no easier for Justin Chambers. So we got Cal Gray back in the game. He has nothing but green in front of him. And then he tosses it to Chambers. And he gets tackled at the 25-yard line. Great pitch there by Cal Gray. We move it. At the 25. This time a play action. Peter Burnett makes a bad pass and it's picked off. It's picked off by Stevenson. That was a bad pass. Another mistake. And now Cal has the ball back after they just killed our momentum. It's second and ten. There goes Powell stepping back the pass. He finds all oh, that was dropped. That was dropped. Third and ten. 
Powers once again with all day to pass. He pops it. It's picked off again by Justin Scott. 20, 10, tripped up and tackled at the 8. What a day by Justin Scott. Another interception by the Juco Senior. Oh my goodness. Once again, it's the cover three coverage. And Justin Scott is just sitting back there waiting on it. And it's picked off. We're at the eight yard line. And then look at this glitch. That was a glitch. So now we have second down. Burnett rolls to the left. He finds Kevin Scott who's double covered in the end zone. Touchdown Alabama State. 28 to 14. We got all momentum. And then look at this. Our defense is on it now. Cal Gray should have picked that off though. 51 seconds left in the game. Third and 10. Powers finds Jackson. And then he gets stripped by Lois Martin. And Jason Moore recovers it. Our defense is balling. Our defense is balling. Look at Speedy Singleton though. Gets a seven yard gain on that carry. We're going to keep him in the game. And then there he goes again. Taking it to the left side. Cuts the corner. Taking out of bounds. At the four. And then here we go. Can we finally get him his first touchdown as a Hornet? No, we can't. So we got Chambers back in the game. The pitch from Cal Gray as time expires. Touchdown, Alabama State. Justin Chambers' third touchdown of the game. A great start to his junior campaign. Making a case on why he should be a Heisman Trophy winner. And we're going to get out of Berkeley, California with a W. 34-14. to the Alabama State Hornets go out to the West Coast for the first time in school history and they beat up on the Pac-10, Pac-12 Cal Bears. What a game, what a performance by the Hornets. Peter Burnett had to step in for Bobby Newton who got injured and he did a great job. I just wish we didn't throw those two interceptions. And he was pretty efficient today too. 14-19, uh, 200, over 200 yards passing along with the touchdown of Kevin Scott. He did a great job today, man. He was absolutely great today. Didn't uh, wish he didn't turn the ball over, but other than that, he was great. Justin Chambers, though, what more can you say about Justin Chambers at this point, man? 157 yards rushing, uh, three touchdowns, and it looks like that was on 28, 20 carries, I believe that is. Gene Singleton in his first game as a Hornet, not bad. Eight touches, 50 yards, 6.2 a carry. I just wish we could have gotten him a touchdown. Cal Gray, though, had his only carry was a 13-yard run. He did a great job. Justin Chambers, though, broke two tackles, but he did fumble that one time. He got blasted, though, on that play. That was uh, that was crazy. But, yeah, man, our running backs are looking really good. Uh, the offensive line was, was decent today. We did give up some sacks. We got our starting quarterback injured. But Marcus Williams... He was great today. The Georgia Bulldog transfer. Six catches. I believe that's 97 yards. Kevin Scott had 80 on 40 catches. I have no idea why I keep going back and forth with the stats. But our defense, though, I believe this was the story of the day. Our defense was swarming today, man. So you see Lawrence Martin led the team in tackles. We had three players that had, well, two players that had tackles for loss. We had a total of seven sacks in this game, man. Our defense was on it. They did an excellent job today. And then, of course, Justin Scott with those two interceptions and one going for a pick six. Look at all those pass deflections, though. Our defense was straight on it today. Six total uh, pass deflections as a team. So this defense is getting better, man. We're getting better with the run. We're getting better with the pass. So, yeah. Great start to the season. Thank you for watching. Peace.